you like my content, why don't you subscribe? I buy some, sell some, it's all a game to me. The pleasure is to whine, put the crown and set the time. The only what you need, you know it's gonna be the ace of spades, the ace of spades. Why so serious? Bonjour mes amis, hi guys. Today we have an exceptional limited edition piece from a brand that has gathered a lot of attention, has had uh, watches entered into the GPHG. It is a uh, Behrens, and this is their crossover with the famous Russian uh, watchmaker, superstar, uh, Konstantin Chaikin. Now, uh, Chaikin uh, rose to prominence uh, mainly because of his uh, Joker watch, but he has created some of the most uh, interesting complications, including uh, calendar complications, for example, one reminding you when to wind your watch before the, the Shabbat to avoid operating a, a mechanical device uh, during uh, that, that period. And um, he, he works in from a, a little atelier with a, with a big team now uh, in a very unassuming uh, place in, uh, in Russia, really uh, interesting personality. And yes, his uh, modular uh, mod it's module uh, com complication over uh, ETA base uh, Joker is uh, now selling for multiples of the original MSRP, which was around, I think, uh, 8,000 uh, US dollar or so. And uh, as for Behrens, it is the, uh, the child of an industrialist uh, genius uh, here in uh, Shenzhen, a big city uh, right across the border into China from Hong Kong. And their watches are well known, also uh, modular uh, construction, over uh, usually a silita uh, base, a uh, very uh, reliable uh, base movement, and they have really interesting uh, pieces. I'll put some on the screen. The prices range from uh, around 2,000 US to uh, maybe nine, 10,000 uh, for the uh, crazy uh, Earth Mars uh, watch, which shows you time on Mars relative to, to Earth. Uh, some of the watches are compared, compared to uh, to our work, they are certainly a lot more affordable, and the construction is uh, impeccable. Impeccable as well, the construction on this uh, incredible piece here, which comes also in uh, two other versions, uh, in regular titanium. Uh, there's a white version with uh, the, the red uh, lips, and there's a black version with an orange mouth, both stunning pieces. Uh, I've seen the white one in person, I love it. Uh, but this one here is even more special. 200 pieces limited edition in a ice crystal titanium. Uh, now, as it's typical for the brand and many brands in China, there's not much information on the, the processes on the, on the website, on the construction. Uh, but there you go, you have those uh, crystal exploded into the grade five titanium. And the result feels, um, it's, a bit, it's a bit lighter than uh, the regular of course, uh, than steel and uh, lighter than the regular uh, titanium that I've uh, that I've tried on, and the, it's beautiful. And no two watches will be the the same. And the feel is a bit like feeling granite. Uh, it's a bit cold to the touch. I absolutely love this. It's so original. You see the beautiful lugs also made of the same material, slightly carved in, carved and curved in. Uh, the overall feel is. Uh, as usual with Behrens, very solid, great uh, construction. At the back, you have uh, the the logo of this uh, release, uh, the, the Joker here. Uh, this one is called the Ace of uh, Spades, actually. It's not the, uh, the Joker. Ace of Spades, of course, uh, my favorite song from one of my favorite albums that I listen uh, religiously uh, from a Motorhead. So that's, uh, that's very cool. And uh, actually I learned that Chaikin was born uh, just five days after me. He was born on the 23rd of November 75. And uh, I managed to get 
uh, serial number 18, so the day of uh, my birth, so that's really cool. You have an integrated construction here for the uh, very cool uh, strap. Uh, I, I like the, the details here. You have the logo of the brand on the strap as well. And uh, to show you that they go really through uh, to, uh, every length to make the product uh, perfect, even the uh, buckle, they don't have to, many brands don't do it, uh, comes in the same material as the, the case with their bespoke uh, screws as well. Now, the watch itself. Look at that smile. And look at the second hand, which is uh, actually a, a spade itself and uh, the trajectory that it takes. I mean, first uh, people will notice uh, the, the eyes, the crazy eyes, which will look at uh, different positions throughout the day. And uh, actually here, they're, they're almost normal at this time of day. Uh, but to me, the, the really show is uh, what's going on with the, the second hand. You will see by magic, it uh, goes up to the, the 50th second, uh, thanks to the, the cam here that you can see uh, come in and come out of view from the, the center portion of the dial. And then as uh, by some miracle, then it will follow the uh, upper lip of uh, this, uh, this joker. And then I let it run a bit more to show you how it goes back down to the 10th second and then the, the 20. It's uh, absolutely mesmerizing. Actually, uh, it references uh, the, the way uh, uh, an agricultural tool in, uh, in China to, uh, I think, plow the, the earth. Um, maybe. <laughs> uh, I, I can see what, what they mean with that. But uh, yeah, I love the, uh, uh, the, the uh, effect there with the, the light, the 3D effect. Now looking uh, a bit at the gears, uh, very interesting as well. I love the construction here where you can see the, the, the screws well polished and the eyes are very 3D so they're very sunken in and uh, at night or any low light uh, situation they will really pop because they are loomed so you can read the time at night uh, it takes a bit of a, a while to get used to it but uh, here the time is uh, 4.25 and after a while you can really read it uh, quite precisely so we have the hours here, the minute there, the uh, brand logo is here. Uh, and the, uh, the pupils of the, the eyes are on a sort of a, a crystal bubble. So they seem to be floating in the air. Really no expense spared on the construction of this uh, very crisp watch. It's 42 millimeters and wears really, really well because the case itself is, uh, is very thin. So you mostly have uh, the crystal. And if I can show it on my wrist, it wears absolutely fantastic and it's very comfortable. And, uh, and I've been wearing it uh, day and night since I got the watch and really uh, absolutely no, no problem wearing this, uh, this piece, 42 millimeters, don't worry, it wears great. My wrist is 17 centimeters. Uh, coming with the watch, uh, you have a, a lot of uh, goodies. Uh, this is the uh, warranty card with your serial uh, number. It is, uh, it bears the, uh, the logo as well. You have uh, a bit of literature in this uh, cool little folder. You have a customized travel pouch. Loving this. And then you get this uh, very, very very heavy uh, metal display box and you even get Baron's gloves to handle your timepiece uh, in, uh, in all safety but this one this timepiece you know you don't get any uh, any smudges apart maybe from uh, on the crystal but why would you touch it, touch it uh, because of the uh, the construction and the rubber strap really uh, you don't really need the gloves to to handle it it's um, yeah, so here you have a, a fun little uh, thing you can put strap on your watch and then uh, you can hide it and then you just push to uh, to bring it up make sure it's strapped on really flat because uh, you don't want it to to bang there uh, of course it's not on a uh, the, the, the strap here doesn't really uh, go all the way flat so careful using this uh, i don't know why they added this but they felt the need to do it and they also felt the need to give you a t-shirt customized as well 
with a team of uh, the collaboration and the ace of spades a really beautiful t-shirt so uh, we're gonna talk money in a second uh, it is not a cheap uh, watch but you get a lot of cool goodies uh, there is um, the name of the collaboration here and you get a spade on your on your sleeve I mean that is absolutely unique I've never seen anything anything like this uh, so let's talk uh, money uh, this one the retail is a 9800 uh, dollar which is actually more than I believe uh, what the original Chiking Joker was retailing for but that one now trades uh, maybe uh, four or five times uh, its original uh, retail price so uh, for this price you get all the goodies that I've shown you you get an incredibly well built watch with a unique display of a time which is actually a regulator uh, display with a separation of the hour minute and seconds uh, everything is uh, absolutely uh, custom built there by uh, by Barents uh, on a solid Celita base and of course uh, you you get um, well you're part of the hype right uh, and, and it's everything and uh, the association with a big name watchmaker always brings in uh, interest so um, maybe that's also included into the, the price so you might say the price is crazy but I can tell you it is not uh, that that crazy and uh, this piece is in itself uh, a very interesting uh, very interesting investment of, of sorts uh, but in any case it's a fun piece and I really uh, thank my friend the uh, anonymous uh, Hong Kong collector for uh, helping me acquire uh, this one and I've been uh, really enjoying it at home the kids uh, are a bit uh, a bit scared of uh, of this piece uh, especially uh, at night with those uh, those crazy eyes and uh, let me show you uh, actually uh, the, the functions how it winds it's keeping very good time actually so the winding yeah it's what uh, i expect the silita to to wind like now the one two things uh that could have been improved uh, i think the strap is too long i'm almost i can wear it at the last hole i wear it at a second to last so i'm not small i'm six foot three so i imagine uh, very few people will use this hole so why make it so long um would love to get a, a shorter strap second thing as you know, the Celita SW200 has a date position, and uh, in the date position, nothing happens. But it's the, the, but they left it. I would have removed it. And so when you put pull at the second position, uh, you stop the the balance. And uh, of course, when you change the time, it's going to be uh, it's going to it's going to be quite fun. You can see the the gearing turning, and then you can see the the eyes going uh, crazier and crazier. This is quite funny, and, and then this starts getting completely uh, bonkers. And now, now this is completely, uh, <laughs> completely nuts. Uh, so, so, so there you go. Apart from those two uh, niggles, every little detail, as I showed you, is uh, is taken care of on this watch. And uh, you can even get uh, the uh, special here logo. I'm not sure what it represents. I suppose it's the the time. Uh, the crown as well is uh, is very uh, very well done. So yeah, if uh, you can try to uh, get in on this uh, this piece, let's enjoy a bit every angle. It's it's kind of hard to tell what's going on uh, with it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, of things going on with the around the smile, around the eyes, and it's uh, enthralling, interesting, fun piece uh, that uh, I'm really happy to add to the to the collection. All right, guys, let me know uh, what you think. Let uh, me know if you think it's a bit too too crazy for you. I always, uh, I was, I was a bit uh, unsure about uh, how I felt about that uh, Joker watch. But uh, when you see them in person, it's, um, it's a lot of fun, like many watches are. And in the end, it's all about fun. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, any questions, let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.